Hello, my name is Cooper and this week Sarah and I are in the Dutch capital of Amsterdam and we're here to sample Stroopwafel. Street food. And any other dust delights that we can sink our teeth into. Now the question we want to know, what's the difference between what tourists will overpay when it comes to food compared to what the residents eat? And let's be honest, when you've got that local knowledge and experience, you always know where the good food is. To help us, we've enlisted the support of our travel community to share with us their five top street food tips when it comes to Amsterdam, so we can investigate ourselves. A little tip when you're crossing the roads in Amsterdam, you really got to have your wits about yourself. You've got to keep an eye out for trams, cars, people, but most importantly, bikes. Amsterdam is home to over 800,000 of them. And for some reason, it can be quite stressful at times crossing the road. We are at Albert Kalp Market here in Amsterdam, and this one is called Kibbling. Now it's deep fried small chunks of fish. It's a bit of a tradition here in the Dutch capital, and it's served with uh, garlic um, mayo sauce or tartare sauce. Mm. That's very nice, yum. I love the crunchy bits of batter. Mm. Shall I cut them? Uh, yes, thank, yeah, you. thank you. He's lucky today? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just lulling him into a false sense of security. Uh, yeah, so perfect. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Okay, yes. thank okay. you. You're Thanks, mate. So we've got our hands on some Stroopwafel street food here at the Albert Kalp Market. Now we've had these before, they're sort of like um, uh, ice cream cone with a caramel in the middle of them, but we haven't had them fresh and we've been actually warned that they're hot inside, so to be careful and not be a piggy like I'm about to be, but let's give it a taste. <laughs> It's like warm and gooey, and it's like the best of um, an ice cream um, waffle cone. So I'm probably going to give you a rating for this right now. It's like five, <laughs> five out of five. And see, look, oh, little good caramel in there. Yummy, gooey, fresh. Now there's one fast food restaurant chain you simply have to try when you're in the Netherlands and that's called Fibo. And what makes them so unique is that they serve their hot snacks via vending machines, which is a bit of a contrast to your typical fast food restaurant where you have drive throughs and people manning the counters. This one, you just simply pick the food you want to snack on and it could be anything from deep fried croquettes to hamburgers. You just tap on with your phone, push the button and the vending machine door opens and there's your snack. Now Fibo's been around since the 40s and they've been serving people who for some unknown reason may have the munchies. And I've got to say, I was pleasantly surprised. Very nice. Another popular tradition with the locals is herring on a roll. Now this street food I was a little bit skeptical to try. The main ingredients is raw herring on a roll. Now the herring is skilleted and cleaned, but still it's raw fish. But to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised. So this is a traditional dish here in Amsterdam. It's herring with onions uh, and pickles on a white bread roll. I'm going to say I'm a little bit nervous. Right. Mm. 
It tastes a little bit like anchovies, a milder flavour. And surprisingly, it's quite nice. Amsterdam is well known for its delicious street food and its mouth-watering bite-sized snacks and we've barely begun to explore the culinary delights that Amsterdam has to offer. But there's one particular food item that Sarah and I can't get enough of and we always make sure we stockpile this treat whenever we return home and that's Dutch cheese. And the city's home to several cheese markets where you can learn about the history of Gouda and Edam cheeses. And what's especially great is that they're very generous when it comes to their cheese cheese samples. They even deliver cheese to your doorstep via bikes. These are our favourites. If you've come this far, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, liked this video and hit the notification bell to see when our new videos are released.